this video helpful please like subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications today in complex number our focus will be on the properties of modulus as we already know that modulus of a complex number a plus b i is root of a square plus b square and we also know that any real number a is always less than or equal to its modulus so if a is positive then it will be equal to its modulus because mod is always positive but if it is negative then mod is still positive so negative a will be less than mod of negative a so we can say that a will always be less than or equal to its modulus so now let's take our first property that is mod of z is equals to 0 if and only if z is equals to 0. So to prove that let's take z is equals to 0 which can be written as 0 plus 0 i then mod will be root of 0 square plus 0 square is equals to 0. Therefore mod of z is 0 if and only if z is equals to 0. Now our next property is mod of conjugate of z is equals to mod of z so for that z is equals to a plus bi then its conjugate will be a minus bi now take the mode for both z and conjugate of z we will get root of a square plus b square and then for conjugate we will get a root of a square plus minus b square and that is root of a square plus b square which equals mode of z so mode of conjugate of z is equal to mode of z now our third property is mode of z w is equals to mode of z times mode of w so let z is equals to a plus b i and w is equals to c plus d i be two complex numbers then left hand side will be mod of a plus b times c plus d i then after multiplication we will get a c plus a d i plus b c i plus b d i square put the value of i square that is minus one so we will get a c minus b d plus a d plus b c i now we need to take the mode of this number we will consider a c minus b d as a and a d plus b c as b so we will get a c minus b d square plus a d plus b c square now let's open the bracket we will get a square c square minus 2 a b c d plus b square d square plus a square d square plus twice a b c d plus c square d square and then take a square common here so we'll get a square times c square plus d square similarly take b square common so b square is equals to d square plus c square so we will get a square plus b square times a c square plus d square now we know that root of a square plus b square is the modulus of z and root of c square plus d square is the modulus of w so mod of z w is equals to mod of z times mod of w similarly we can prove that mod of z over w is equals to mod of z over mod of w so now our fifth property is z times conjugate of z is equals to mod of z square 
So to prove this, let z is equals to a plus bi, then its conjugate will be a minus bi. Now z times its conjugate is equals to a plus bi times a minus bi, which will give us a square minus bi square because it's in the form of a plus b times a minus b which is a square minus b square now the value of i square is minus 1 so we will get a square plus b square which equals mode of z square because mode of z square is equals to a square plus b square from the modulus formula so therefore z times its conjugate is equals to mode of z square now our sixth property is mode of r e z that is real part of z is less than or equals to mode of z or mode of i m z is less than or equals to mode of z so to prove this we know that mode of z square is equals to a square plus b square now what is a here a is the real part of z or we can write it as r e z Similarly, what is B here? B is the imaginary part of Z and we can write it as I am Z. So now we can rewrite it as mode of Z square is equals to R E Z square plus I am Z square. Now we can say that mode of Z square is equals to R E Z square plus I am Z square will always be greater than or equal to r e z square or i m z square now we can see that r e z square and i m z square will always be positive because of the square and there is a plus sign there so there will always be addition of two positive terms so mode of z square will always be greater than or equal to r e z square alone or i m z square alone now to prove this let's take r e z is equals to 0 but i m z is non-zero then what will happen then mode of z square will be greater than r e z square because r e z is 0 so 0 square is 0 so value of mode of z square will be greater than 0 now if i m z is 0 and r e z non zero then mode of z square will be equal to r e z square because r e z square will be positive and modulus is always positive so both the values will be equal so therefore mode of z square will be equal to r e z square in this case so in first case r e z square is less than and in second case it is equal to a, a mode of z square so we can say that mode of z square will always be greater than or equal to r e z square similarly with i m z square 2 therefore mode of z square is equals to r e z square plus i m z square and is greater than or equal to r e z square and if we take square root both the sides then we will get mode of z is greater than or equal to mode of r e z and similarly we can prove that mode of z is greater than or equal to mode of i m z our next identity is modulus of z plus w is less than or equal to modulus of z plus modulus of w and this is a triangle inequality which we will be covering in our next session. So today we proved some properties of modulus of a complex number z is equals to a plus bi where modulus is root of a square plus b square. So we proved that mod of 
z is equals to 0 if and only if z is equals to 0 and mode of conjugate of z is equals to mode of z then mode of z w is equals to mode of z times mode of w similarly mode of z over w is equals to mode of z over mode of w then z times its conjugate is equals to mode of z square then mode of r e z is less than or equals to mode of z similarly i m z is less than or equals to mode of z and we will be proving triangle inequality in next video next topic is triangle inequality thanks for watching